Uh -huh. Right? Yeah. So uh, are you are you happy with, with such a positive, strong reaction that this film has gotten? I, I mean, it's been amazing. And it's like a three-pointer from Half Court. Yeah. The lucky shot. I, I haven't talked to a single Star Trek fan that did not like the, this film, and part of it was, you know, the strong writing with you, with you and Alex. You haven't been on the internet then. I have, well, <laughs> I have, but, you know. Uh, you know, when you're talking about like the hardcore Trekkies and everything, no, we've been and, yeah, so lucky, absolutely. <laughs> yeah, uh, it's, the reaction has been really nice. And when we talked to you at the at the press conference that you guys had for the DVD sort of release thing, yes, and you were talking about your sequel ideas that, that you were still trying to nail down whether or not you were going to borrow from past villains or, or just go in an entirely new direction. Have you guys settled on anything yet? Or well, we've settled on not relying on anything that came before, like we did in the first one. We don't want to assume prior knowledge. Right. Right. So we're going to develop a story based on that, and then if the details of the universe start to seep in and they seem logical to use conventions and characters that we sort of re-engineer that way, but right now we're still working as though you don't know anything about Star Trek. Okay, okay, so then there is the possible reintroduction of a guy like a Harry Mudd or somebody sure. like a, you know, another alien that, that, that sure. has been seen in previous Trek. Sure, and those you things know. will, you'll, I think, hope that's, that'll be part of the fun of discovering it. Once we know what we want to do story-wise, Suddenly, characters are necessary that come in and out. And if you've done your homework and you're reading the books and you're watching the series, you go, oh, you know, that's perfect for this character to come in. So you don't want to force it, but you want to be uh, studied enough that you know it when you see it. Because you know what the big question is on the internet now is, sure. is everyone's wondering about Khan. Yeah. You know. Yeah. And it's so divided in half. People aren't sure if they want to see another version of Khan or if they want to see a new direction. Yeah, you know? exactly. And that's got to be what, what the big. Uh, the big question mark is between you and Al, like, 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 where do we go with that? It know? is. It absolutely is. <laughs> has has JJ been having a lot of input in that as well? I mean, yeah, you know, we're gonna have our first of uh, many coffee shop um, summits, as we call them, where uh -huh. we sit in the coffee shop and debate, kind of, what are the big themes and like the pros and cons. What are the big decisions? <laughs> exactly. What are your pros and cons for it then about bringing back a, a, an older villain? Well, the pro is obviously uh, that it that it, if you're a fan of it, you, you know, and you want to see Khan again, it's an amazing thing. The, the, the against it is you don't want to rely on anything that came before. Mm -hmm. We're try, we tried to be very disciplined in the first movie about yes, we can revisit things that fans know. Yes, we can even have some things that historically would fit canon, but we cannot rely on your knowledge or love of a previous concept. So it's very dangerous to go down a concept like that because you could easily get lazy. And if you get stuck, you can always just go with Klingons. Right. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Well, well, thanks a lot, man. I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you.